Hello, so in today's video, I want to show you how to remove some of the words and some of the white background without leaving Google Slides or downloading any of these pictures or logos. So let's get started. So as you can see, I have different shapes in here. I have a heart, I have a square, I have a star, and I have a white background. And these are to show you different examples how we can modify these pictures. Let's start with this YouTube video. It's a round logo. That's all I want. I don't want that square around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and crop the picture. Click on that arrow. Click shapes. Select the circle because this is what we want. Now it's going to have a round outline. So when we crop it by double clicking, it's not going to be a square outline. Now it's a round one. So we're going to go in little by little until that white line or that white background starts to um, disappear slowly. So as you can see, I'm playing around with it, trying to move in closer. And I don't know if you can see the circle outline. It's almost transparent. It's very thin. But this is what we're manipulating to um, get the circular outline. Let's just keep playing around with it until that white background totally disappears. So as you can see here, so again, like if you have a round logo or a round picture, you go up, you select a circle. If you have a heart, you go up and you find the heart shape and make it into an outline and just go in little by little until you get your desired shape done. You see how it has a transparent background now? The white is all gone. Awesome. Let's move on to the next picture. Okay, so this um, Bitmoji with the sanitize, you see how the letters are like curved? It's not straight, so I'm also going to have to crop this into a circle. So you go up, crop it, select the circle, so now my outline is round. I think you can see it here. So I'll double click and start moving that circle down until that word sanitize is almost gone. So let me go on the corners because it's still showing and go in this corner. Go in a little bit, go up. But you get the idea. So you just keep playing around with it until the whole word is removed and bam, just like that. It's like more of an oval shape than um, a round shape. Okay, so this one says I love you dummy, obviously. <laughs> I don't want the word dummy, so I'm going to crop, click on that arrow going down where it says mask image. And again, I'm going to select circle. Circle is the easiest way, honestly. I want to leave the I love you on top, but I want to remove that word um, dummy. So I moved it up, up, up until that word dummy totally disappeared. Okay, now, fam jam. I don't want it to say fam jam, so I'm not going to even select the shape. I'm just going to double click and move that black line down. Oh, this is a little annoying. Okay, the blue line keeps moving. Okay, so I'm going to move that black line down. So now it's faded and then move the bottom line up. I just want the Bitmoji by itself. Obviously, I don't know if I said it before, but whatever inside that black box is um, what is going to be shown. Everything else outside the box doesn't show. Okay, so now I'm going to go to insert where are you? And I'm going to write, I don't know, yay, I'm so happy. And I want the colors to be close to the colors that are in the picture. So once I'm done typing, it's in white. Now I'm going to go to that bucket on the top of the page, go to gradient, select custom, and it's by default selected gray. I want to switch it, so I'm adding that little circle or that little dot. And I'm adding another one. And I'm going to start switching colors. So let's put orange. Let's click on this square and select. 
red. Then select this dot and make it orange. Oops, yeah, select on this and then change the colors around. So this is what it will look like. Also a quick tip, once you adjust the text size, select the text, select the picture by hitting shift and selecting both. Go up to the menu, hit arrange, and then select group. That way they're grouped. Okay, yeah. next logo is that YouTube video um, with the white background. So again, we're going to mask it. We're going to select not the square, the square with the round curves. So it could, when we crop it, it's like, you see how it's like perfect sizing? It matches the same shape that we want to have as an outcome. So you keep adjusting and whatever is inside that black box is what is going to show. Anything outside the box is not going to show. Okay, so that looks good. And that was super easy, it was so quick. So the next picture, I'm going to work on the heart. I only want the heart. I don't want the outside. So what do you think I'm going to crop it as? If you guessed heart, then you guessed it correctly. So I'm going to go up again, shapes, find the heart shape. And we're going to start cropping. Okay. So it already did have the job for me. Okay, so double click on it now that it's a heart and we're just, this one was a bit difficult than the others definitely. So just going to go in little by little until you get your desired um, shape and get rid of all the outside frame. It's, I think it's, even though it was hard, I think it was much quicker than downloading it and then uploading it and removing background and all that stuff. It was so much quicker than, um, also my desktop is full of downloaded pictures and it's so cluttered. This is so much easier. It doesn't always work for all the pictures, but it, it gets the job done for most of them. So I'm going to fast forward this part until I get the results. Shape is the star. I only want the star. I don't want that square outside. So I'm going to go up, click on that arrow by crop, and I'm going to go to call outs. It's not with the shape. Select the star, double click, and just start adjusting it until you get a small star. So that's pretty much it. This is how you crop out pictures without even having to um, use an outside source. So I forgot to add that we could add a brand new frame to our new shapes by going up, click that marker, select the color of your um, outline, and then select the color. So you click the marker, you select the color, and then you click on those lines and you select how thick you want your frame to be. So I'm giving them different colors of outlines and different thickness to the outlines. And that was it. I hope it was helpful. Um, I much rather, if I can do it, to crop the pictures within Google Slides rather than downloading the pictures and uploading and downloading again. It's just so tedious. This saves me a lot of time and it saves my desktop so much storage and so much clutter. Right, so that was all for today. I hope I was somewhat um, informative and made sense and helped someone. Until next time, bye now.